Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn about DSpace 7 access control. So here I am at DSpace 7 demo site, and there we need to log in with this demo account. And uh, this is for administrator. And remember, DSpace demo site is just for practice purpose. You need to write demo dspace.org and here we are at the demo site. Okay, so there at this navigation bar, you can see the access control. By access control, we can add an e person who can actually administrate the dspace site, who can work as the community administrator or the collection administrator or the submitter. And we can create groups of those e person, I mean e people. So we can add multiple groups like administrative group, like uh, community administrator group, collection administrator group, or submitter group. So here we need to work on e people, I mean uh, e person first. And there you can see there's only one e person available, so we can add one here write the first name of that e person and then the last name and email address here and required certificate i think uh, create and there we need to edit this <coughs> okay. we can add this person to a group For example, this group, administrative group. Add. Okay. And now back home, access control, pupil. And there we can reset the password. So it will send an email address or on the giving email address. I mean, it will send an email to the giving email address. And there you can see. that you need to click on this link and you can reset the password. So here we have the password, for example, uh, and submit this password. So now password has been reset and uh, we have successfully created an administrator for DSpace site. So let us log out and then log in with the administrative account. Those we have created, now we need to write this password Okay, we need to submit this agreement and save. And now we are an administrator of DSpace. So, so this way we can create an e-person and another way is the self-registration. So let me log out here and I'll show you how we can self-register as an administrator or the community administrator so new user and there you need to provide the email address and register and then you need to open the email there you can see the email this one 
by clicking on the link you need to complete the registration and you need to agree on the certificate i mean registration agreement so here we need to provide the first name and the username second name contact email and the language the password you can set the password for example complete registration and there you can see you have been logged in see you need to refresh this now you are logged in here as the administrator because you fall i mean that email address fall in that particular group and now we will learn how we can create a group so access control again and there we need to go at groups and we can create you can see multiple groups already available here this is for collection 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 and if you can see a number of groups available multiple people actually work on the this this demo site so you can create your own group if you would like to like uh, metadata management and you can provide uh, some description here demo group or save now <clears throat> so we can add a uh, people in this group so we can add one two current sub group now save and let us see that group that we have created. And you can see this group, the three members available. And you can assign this group to any community or the collection. Another thing that is important in DSpace access control is to work on the community or the collection access control and to assign role and curate the community and to work on the uh, authorization. So here we have some communities and I'm using DSpace demo site and in publication we can see we have some communities here. For example, I mean publication is one of the community so let us uh, add this community and there you can see the assign role curate this community and to work on access control and the authorization so assign role so you can make the administrator group here who can actually create sub communities collection and manage or assign uh, management for those uh, sub communities or collection so we can create a group here this one and this group can be work as the admin for the particular community publication so we can add the uh, e people from here for example uh, we can say 
this would be the administrator or this would be the administrator or this one or whatever and after creating the community uh, assign role i mean we can curate this community to curate community we can actually work on the profile bit string format check for required metadata uh, check linked in metadata or there is a dui so this way we can curate this community and access control is to work on the access like uh, item metadata so what actually we can do we can provide the condition type for example metadata would be open access or administrator only can actually work on the metadata i mean they can uh, view the ad metadata or it could be embargo or at least so we will or we can leave as it is for example this would be the open access for beta stream beta stream as actually the item uh the pdf file or whatever the file uh image file so we can say uh this would be embargo for uh till uh next year for example for one year we can embargo this in this community whatever the metadata so we can execute this Another thing is the authorization. So we can actually authorize this. Now. And we can add some policies here. If you want to add some policies and uh, the policy type, the admin who can read, write, uh or work as admin or delete so we can work on the authorization so this way we can work on the community access control so this is another thing that we need to uh talk in this video so thank you very much for watching raflims this is swaro hosan and keep watching raflims